G'day everyone, just about to close out now on the last episode in our All About Lithium Batteries for RVs. So for our last episode again, still got Ryan with me, so thanks very much for joining me on this series, Ryan. I think it's been really helpful to people um, and really important to be able to get that right information out there into the market. So to close out on a few things, and we'll go to a bit of a summary of overall the advantages of lithium to close this out very shortly, but to touch on a couple of things we haven't touched on in any of the other episodes yet, um, so let's talk about chargers. Yep. So there's different types of chargers out there. I see people say, oh, you can charge you know, a lithium with any a lithium battery with any type of you know, lead acid charger which is out there. So is that true? No, not really. No. <laughs> um, look, you can charge a lithium battery with a, uh, any, with a charger. Yep. However, there are a few things that you need to be careful of. Yep. Uh, so we certainly don't recommend any charge with uh, desulfation mode yep. uh, because that will damage the, the, the BMS. Yeah, because what that's doing is that's high frequency high, pulsing. High frequency, high voltage pulsing. Basically, then you have two electronics, sets of electronics just going bashing their yep. heads. So um, yeah, so that's one we, yep. we certainly don't recommend. The other one that you need to be careful of is the, the right setting. So on an AGM or a JAL setting, they can be used yeah. on a, with a lithium battery, but what you won't get in most cases is a full charge. Yeah. Now, because of that flat discharge curve of lithium, you'll never know that you don't get a full no. charge. Okay? Yeah. And uh, as a result of that, you've paid uh, quite a substantial amount of money for a new lithium battery. Yeah. You want to make sure that you're getting the full, uh, full use of capacity. Yeah. And in many AGM and gel uh, battery charges, charging a lithium battery, you won't get a full charge. Right, okay, so you're right. I mean, if you make that investment, you want to be able to get the, your bang for buck and want to be able to get the value out of it. Yeah, so, correct. And right. then the, the, the third one that we is, uh, and again, we've touched on this before, but having that lithium profile, yeah. like uh, like the BM Pro is, is really important, gives you a full charge. Yeah. That, that's point one. And point two as well is that uh, with a lithium profile, quite often they don't go into a uh, float mode. Yeah they'll turn off, yep. as the BM Pro one does, uh, whereas an AGM will go into a, a float okay. mode and, and keep voltage on the lithium. Yep. Not a big deal, but it's beneficial for the lithium batteries to, to turn off. And that's certainly where BM Pro has seen the advantage in partnering with yourselves and putting the, the Invicta product underneath the BM Pro banner. We have tested it, we know what it's like, and the two products just, they dovetail in well together. The charge profiles and the regimes which we use are matched perfectly with these batteries. You can use other chargers, but what we have experienced, as you say, is the Invicta and the BM Pro are working really, really well and have been tested really, really well. And that's important because there's not a lot of places in Australia who can really say that they've tested batteries the way we have. Um, but we know that well, the way the BM Pro is, um, the way the BM Pro chargers work with these Invicta batteries is you're really getting good bang for buck by partnering the two together. One of the questions we do get asked a few times recently is talking about inverters. Yep. I mean, I wrote an article recently in the, the 12 volt guru column about these people who had had a lithium battery and then all of a sudden, bang, in the middle of the night, no power, their lights had gone out. And they obviously weren't aware of how much power they had actually been draining out mm -hmm. of, their, um, uh, of their system overnight. Been running an inverter. Now, it's really important to make sure that you match and you pair the right size inverter with the right size battery. Yeah, I mean, correct. there's no use putting a five kilowatt inverter on a 100 or 125 amp hour. You're just gonna kill it too quickly and the battery's gonna go into shutdown mode, gonna go to sleep mode, which is because of this protection circuit which we've got inside. Yeah. So what size inverter would you be recommending for a 100 or 125 amp hour lithium battery? Yeah, well, it, look, it depends on the on the, the devices that you're running. Sure, but we've got but, to get the right amount of power. Correct. Yeah. But uh, having anything greater than a, a 1200 watt inverter, for example, on a on a 12 volt battery, I think yeah. is a is a little bit over the top, unless you're, you're doing some some paralleling. Yeah. And the main reason I say that is uh, at full tilt, you're only going to get one hour runtime. Yeah. Out of a, a 1200 watt inverter, 12 volts is 100 amps. Yeah. These things will run no problems. But really, you've only got an hour runtime. Yep. Uh, if you're powering in a few up, then you'll get extended runtime. But there's a bit of conjecture about uh, high rate discharge. Yeah. Okay. So with the Invicta range, uh, we've got constant current of 100 amps, 1C at the 100 amp hour, yep. and 125 uh, amp hour versions is 100 amp hour constant discharge. We also have a uh, 350 amp for three seconds, yeah. uh, which is uh, quite high. Yeah. Um, and there are others on the market that claim 350 amps, uh, but that is still only for three seconds. Yeah, that's just okay. a sort of like a kettle, you know, to get that 
that load up height and then it just sort of settles down, doesn't Correct. it? Yep. Yeah, so um, leave the coffee machine off and keep the hair dryer to under five minutes <laughs> and you won't have a problem. All right, so a bit of a summary. We've gone through, we've done seven episodes now of our lithium series. You know, first and foremost, we spoke about the weight, right? So shape and everything else like that, the size. Um, and then weight, but weight, weight, it, it's like half, half the weight. Yep, it? less so, than half the weight. Yep, now number two that we've got is cycle life. So we know that from the testing here we've done at BM Pro, we're still testing now live 24 seven, seven days a week, and we're well over 1200 cycles now. So you're gonna get much higher cycle life than what you are out of a lead acid. Yeah, correct. I think so you were saying about 700 before for a 50% yep. depth of discharge. Right, number three, speaking about depth of discharge, we've got the lead acid where we really should only be taking it down to a 50% depth of discharge. So on a 100 amp hour battery, you know, remaining 50 amp hours remaining there. On a lithium battery, quite happy to take it down to, take 80% out of it, yep, down no to problems. 20%, you know, and as we said before, we're already doing the testing and we're taking it down to like a 10% depth of discharge on the other side. Now, fourth one, Ryan, I'm going to hand that one over to you. That was the flat discharge curve on the voltage, wasn't it? Yep, so it gives you a very flat discharge curve, yeah. uh, which holds the voltage above your, your 12 volts, yep. right down to 90% depth of discharge, yep. which uh, gives you an increased runtime. Yep. All right, now, number five, people on the go, uh, they're going to pack up their campsite, they've drained their batteries overnight. These things charge much faster than the lead acid battery. And number six on our top six for benefits of lithium batteries, over lead acid is a low self-discharge curve. So meaning that we can put it into storage, not have to recharge it, and it's gonna discharge itself, unlike a lead acid, which does it you know, several times more, um, it's gonna have a very low self-discharge. So you come back and you find your battery's still got plenty of charge in it. Yep. Now, of course, Ryan, the added benefit that we get out of the Invicta batteries is you guys have certified the entire battery pack. Very hard to find in Australia. In fact, I don't know of anybody else that's doing it. I stand to be corrected, not to say that there's not, but certainly one of the things which we recommend is that the entire pack has been certified by the appropriate authorities, not just at cell level, and have been tested at battery level, so, yep. which is great. All right, so there you have it. We've done a great series here, I think, and hopefully that's given you a lot of information about lithium batteries. Make some comments or give us some feedback. Love to hear from you, and we'll see you in the next BM Pro video.